Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can insert the current date and also the current time to your Instagram filters using Spark AR. So let's go! Hey again, so let's add the current date and time to our Instagram filter here in the Spark AR studio. To do this we have to create a 2D text element first. So for this we go to our scene panel, click on the plus and here we search for 2D text. When we have inserted the 2D text element, we can see this preview text here in the left upper corner. So I will go to my scene now and then I will rename my element to date. So this will, the, will be the yeah, text with the date in it. So at the moment the text is at the left upper corner, but I want it centered in the middle of my screen. So I yeah, switch my viewport from edit 3D object to 2D object, so it is easier to move the text around. Um, yeah. I already know I want it in the middle, so I go to the yeah, right hand side to my properties and here I will align it um, here in the middle with those um, buttons here on top. Now I will stretch the text field to cover the whole width of the screen because at the moment you can see it is just here in the middle in this little box. So I go also to the right hand side and then I click here in the width um, box and here I click on fill width. So at the moment the text is on the right side but yeah just align it again with the buttons on top and now it is in the middle. And yeah of course you can play around here with the positioning of the text. So at the moment the text just says text but we want the current date in it. So for this we go down here under typography here we can find text here I delete the sample text so at the moment there is nothing and then I go down to insert next to dynamic text this is a, bu this is a button just click on it and here you have a lot of options you can choose from and yeah I want the date and I want the date long so I just insert it and here is the date long yeah you can play around also with the different dates so this is the full one here is also Monday and then the date and you can also do the short or medium version of it. So yeah, I will go with this and yeah, you can also change the text, you can change the color of it, so change it to white. You can also use some custom fonts or the fonts that are already here in this Buggy R Studio, you can um, change the font size. Yeah, just play around until it fits your filter. Um, good, so the next step is that we want to insert the time, so this is the same as with the date. We just go to our scene bundle, click on the plus, here we search for a 2D text element, insert it, I will change the name to time, then I go to the right hand side, set the width to fill width, then I will align it in the middle of the screen and will drag it a little bit further down so it is underneath um, yeah, the date. So then again I go to typography, delete the text in the text field, then I go to dynamic text insert and here we also have um, a time one. So we have time short and also time long. So I will go for time short and then we have our time here. Again, I will set the color to white. And yeah, now we have successfully inserted the date and the current time here in our Instagram filter. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!